everybody. Welcome back. It's Tim Constantine with you on the Capitol Hill Show. Now, a number of congresswomen have been traveling around the country. They've been in their own districts and elsewhere talking to ladies about women's issues, mental health issues, medical research issues. The list goes on. Joining me right now is one of those congresswomen. It's Congresswoman Mamie Walters from California. Hi, Congresswoman. How are you? Hi, I'm doing terrific. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, this morning you had a press conference along with several of your comrades there in the House and and pointed out there are some specific women's issues. As a matter of fact, you've called this the Women to Women National Policy Agenda. Tell me about it. Well, Sarah Chamberlain, who's the president of Main Street, has um, masterminded this tour, if you will, where we have several members of Republican women in Congress traveling around the country talking to other women about what's on their mind and what issues are important to them. Now, I'm the only female Republican from California in the delegation, and I have felt that it's been sort of my responsibility to represent and serve as the voice for conservative women, not only in California but across the nation. So um, I've been very happy to participate in this tour, and it's really to get our message out about who we are and what we stand for, and to get feedback from them, what's important to them. Conservative Republican woman from California, you're an endangered species. I am. I'm breaking new ground. (laughs) In this past year, we had the Black Lives Matter movement. One of the criticisms of that was that all lives matter. So what's the difference here? Why is it that focusing on specific issues that address women is so important? I think sometimes the media thinks that only women care about social issues, and we want to make sure that people understand that women care about, number one, jobs, about their financial security. I'm a mom of four. Uh, I have three kids in college, and my kids (laughs) tell me that they are so worried about getting a job when they graduate from college. And... I graduated in the 1980s when President Reagan was in office, and it was a lot easier to get a job back then. Right. Uh, But today it's not. And so many women like myself who are moms are really worried that their kids aren't going to have a bright future. And under this president, um, he's had so many failed policies that people are not being able to live the American dream. And we are hearing time and time again how important economic and financial security are to women. You and I are about the same age, and I think that not only is the reality out there, but the idea in in young people's heads right now. When you and I graduated college, we felt like there was a whole world we could go out and tackle. I'm not sure that's the mindset right now because they don't feel it's there. You're absolutely right. They don't. Um, They are really worried about what it's going to be like once they graduate, not only once they graduate from college, but so many of these kids today have huge debt that they have to deal with. And they're not even getting off, started off on the right foot because they're starting off with debt, most kids today. In, in our day, you know, we were able to um, graduate from college and pretty much start. It was, some of us had a little bit of debt, but not like you see today. And so that, that mindset, that opportunity, that, feel, that, that feeling of, you know, America is the land of opportunity, it isn't there today. And um, part of the reason I believe, and one of the main reasons I believe that, is because this president who is leading us is leading us in the wrong direction. Before I let you go, let me run through a little checklist. Some of the items that you talked about at this morning's press conference included medical research, mental health, education reform. But those are issues I think a lot of people think, okay, those would be mom issues or those would be, and that's not a fair thing, but I, I think a lot of people think that way. But you also had national security on agenda. You had taxes on the agenda. There's a lot of things here that, that cross the line, but I don't know that people think of those in terms of women's issues. Explain to me why they are. They are because we have so many women today are small business owners, and tax issues are a very big deal. Um, overregulation is a very big deal in order to have a successful business. Uh, National security, we are seeing in our conversation with women as we tour the country, national security has probably become the number one issue. Um, And you're right. Traditionally, people don't think that those are women's issues, but they are. All issues are women's issues. And we want to change that mindset that only social issues are women's issues because that's not the case. All issues are women's issues. 
Congresswoman Mimi Walters, thank you very much. Appreciate you taking the time this morning. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Tim. Oh, you know, I love hearing that nice conservative voice coming out of California. <laughs> Wait a minute, conservative. California to those guys. You know, there was a time Ronald Reagan came from California. Richard Nixon came from California. What the hell happened to that place? I'm Tim Constantine. This is the Capitol Hill Show. We're back with more after the break. The Capitol Hill Show.